Hello, good afternoon everyone. I have a really cute treat to share with you guys today and we're going to get to that in just a minute. Um, for those of you that might be new, my name is Ruth Norton. I am of Ruth's Stamping Corner. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching live on Facebook, I'd love for you to share this video with your friends. If you are watching on YouTube, you can like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, while we're waiting for people to join, um, let's talk about a few things that are coming up. We are in the February subscription period for Paper Pumpkin. You can see, it. look at that sneak peek right there. Isn't that card gorgeous? Um, so this is the Bouquet of Hope um, Paper Pumpkin Kit, which will come out in February. Um, the subscription period runs from January 11th to February 10th. If you want February's Paper Pumpkin, you must subscribe by February 10th. The January Paper Pumpkins are on their way out. I'm very excited about getting mine. I also have my my little add-on boxes to go with my January kit. So as soon as I get everything, I'll make sure to do a Facebook Live, probably in my VIP group. If you haven't joined my VIP group, make sure you do. But I always do my Facebook Lives in my VIP group when my Paper Pumpkin comes. So make sure you join my VIP group to take advantage of that. If you do want to grab the February Paper, paper Pumpkin, you have to subscribe by February 10th. And I believe they said it was nine cards with three different designs so three of each um card i will double check that though but um it looks like it's going to be just a simply gorgeous kit so make sure you subscribe to paper pumpkin um also coming in february we have the hey chick and hey birthday chick bundles the hey, um hey birthday chick is um a stamp set that is in the mini catalog right now coming in february there's going to be dies that go with it and if you may remember back in 2017 we had this hey chick stamp set and we now have dies to go with that one too so all of this will be available starting in february if you want it now though you can add it to your starter kit and get it all now um, but watch for this in february i'm gonna have some really cute things coming with this in february so um and this will actually go through the end of june so if you have other purchases you want to make during celebration, you can um, hold off on getting the hey check stuff. Okay, um, I have two classes right now. Tomorrow is the very last day to RSVP for my um, Stampin' Bingo. Um, and that features the sweet strawberry stamp set. I'm getting the cards out here. So there's gonna be four, I'm trying to hold them so they're not super close to the camera. There's gonna be four amazing cards featured in that Stampin' Bingo class. So you can get in on that, but tomorrow is the last day to register for that. So make sure to check the, the link in the video description for the details on Stampin' Bingo. Also, I am taking registration right now for Card Crate, and it is featuring the Always In My Heart bundle. It's gorgeous. I love this, this month's Card Crate. So if you want to be... Um, part of Card Crate, you need to RSVP for that. And I believe the deadline to sign up for Card Crate is coming in um, next week. I think it's Monday next week, but I'll double check. It might be Sunday. But all the all the details are in the video description. All right, guys, I got last night an order, and it had our new basic white in it. So I just wanted to share a few things with you. So I have this black card stuck here just to kind of really highlight it. So this is our Whisper White. Um, this was the one that was discontinued, and this is our Basic White. This is the new one. The Basic White, you can see, is a little bit brighter white. It is nice and smooth. It's smooth, just like our Whisper White, um, and it's stamped beautifully, and it colors with blends beautifully. So if you were worried about getting the new Whisper Basic White, if you you were worried about the quality, but it wasn't going to be as such high quality as our Whisper White. It is very good. I'm very happy with it. Um, like I tried the, the blends. I did some stamping on it, and it all looks great. I'm I'm very happy with the with the replacement Stampin' Up found. So you can order Basic White products now. That is all available in the online store. And anything that was let me grab my sheet. Anything that was available in Whisper White is now available in Basic White. So um, both the cardstock, the thick and the regular cardstock, the envelopes, the note cards, everything that was available in Whisper White, you can now get in Basic White. And I am, I'm really happy with the, the quality of stuff. So that is all available now. Of course, you can shop from our mini catalog. And let me show you, we are using, um, we're going to be using this, um, that's, dies from this one today from this bundle today 
for using these floral heart dies, but this is the bundle that I'm featuring in my card crate. So if you love the floral heart dies, if you love what we're going to do with them today, you might want to consider getting that card crate because um, we're going to do even more with those dies um, in this, in the card crate. So wanted to point that out. And of course, celebration is going on right now. With every $50 you purchase, you can choose a free item from our celebration brochure. There are tons of amazing things to choose from. If your wish list is long, though, I do highly recommend you getting the starter kit. It is $99. You get to choose $125 in product, plus you get five stacks of DSP. That is over a $55 value. So it makes your starter kit an over $180 value for only $99. So it's a phenomenal deal. There's no obligation to buy or sell. You can just get that starter kit. Um, but once you get that 20% discount, it's going to be hard to hard to pass that up. All right, the bundle that we are using today that I am focusing on, I'm using this Heartfelt bundle. And this was in last year's mini catalog. So it's this stamp set. And then um, there are two punches that go with it. I'm going to do it on this side because the glare... Um, so you get the scalloped heart punch and then just the, the regular heart punch. So this is all bundled and this is in the annual catalog. So if you're looking for this bundle as we're using it, it is in the annual catalog. So you can find it here in the punch section. Um, it is on page 75 though, so you can check that out. It is still bundled, even though it was featured in last year's uh, mini catalog it is still purchased as a bundle. So that saves you 10% when you purchase it as a bundle. So if you love this, you might want to pick it up as, as a bundle. All right, if you do need to shop for products, please head to my online store. You can use this host code. All orders placed in celebration, again, over $50 will earn a free celebration product, but you're also going to earn yourself a free class in March. So don't forget to use that host code when you shop. Okay, you guys ready to see what we're making? It is so cute so we're making this little box and i'm gonna slide the belly band off and i just i love the way this box opens so there's a little flap in the front you pull that out and it the lid just completely hinges up isn't that cute and so inside are these little valentine ding dongs i found these in my grocery store i am sure that they are in grocery stores all over the place but it is so cute. It's it's really like a really fancy little box and there's little um, corners for it to tuck into. You see that this has a little a little pocket for it to tuck into. The sides have little pockets to tuck into. So all those tabs really get hidden away when you close it. So it's really just a seamless looking box. And then of course the, the belly band will slide right back on. Of course it will it will fight me because we're on camera but the belly band will slide right on. Isn't that so cute? So we're gonna make this, so we're gonna actually start with the, the box part and then we'll get to the decorating. So you will need, I don't wanna lose all my supplies, so you will need a piece of cardstock that is 10 and one quarter by eight and a half, so almost an entire sheet of cardstock. All I've done is cut off three quarters of an inch on the 11 inch side. Okay. So we're going to bring out our Simply Scored, and don't worry about writing down all the measurements. They are in the video description, and they will be on my blog tomorrow with my blog post. Okay, on the 10 and a quarter inch side, we are going to score at three quarters of an inch, at two and one quarter of an inch, five and a half, and at seven. Okay, and then we're going to turn it. And on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to score at one and a quarter at two and three quarters, at five and three quarters, and at seven and a quarter. So all of those measurements, like I said, will be in the blog post and they're also in the video description. I did make sure to put those in today. Okay, so you're going to use your bone folder, burnish all of those score lines. The box looks very fancy, but it's actually pretty easy to put together. We will do a lot of trimming, but um, it's really easy. And when you act, after you make one or two of them, you'll be making tons of them like a pro. Okay, so we have all of those score lines burnished. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming. Put my bone folder down. I'm gonna grab my scissors, and we on the 
long side. This is the ten and a quarter inch side. We have this three quarter inch side over here. This is the the smallest side, and we are going to. There's a big middle panel here, so we're just going to cut out these two sides. Okay, and I'll make sure once it's all trimmed, I'll lay this nice and flat so you can see exactly what I've done. I'm going to cut that side, and we're going to trim off these two rectangles. Okay, so that is, that's our first bit of trimming done. Now we're going to move up. And on these, there's two squares here. We're going to cut out this first square. So I'm going to cut on that score line. And then I'm just going to cut this completely off. We don't need this square at all. So we're going to get rid of that one. And then we're just going to cut up this score line. And we're going to notch in. And I'm going to, these are going to be the little tabs that fold up into our box. So we're going to notch in pretty significantly. And then we're gonna kind of cut this in half. What you want is this little tab to be about the same width as this. This is three quarters of an inch. So you want this to be about three quarters of an inch as well. It'll just help your box go together much easier. But um, I'm just eyeballing it. You can get out your paper trimmer if you really want it to be completely exact. But again, I don't think that people who receive these boxes are gonna complain. They're not gonna be taking out rulers and measuring. So I'm going to notch this in and I am notching, like I said, I'm notching in pretty severely, but that's also going to help your box go together. And then I'm just going to eyeball that and trim that off. Okay. So that is our kind of our first side. Okay. Now we're going to leave these intact. So we're going to move over to these squares over here and we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're just going to cut up those score lines. I'm going to cut all the way to that second horizontal score line. And so let me see. We're going to cut off, let me fold these in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to cut off this square. We don't need that one. And then these are going to be glue tabs. So I'm just going to cut these. And they they don't have to be cut as, at such a severe angle, but you do want to make sure that you trim them because it does help it go together. And that's that is basically all we're doing right here. Okay. So I'm going to do the same to the other side. So boxes. A good rule of boxes is what you do to one side, you want to do to the other side. So pretty much everything I'm doing on one side, I'll do to the other. Okay. I'm going to fold these out of the way just so that it's easier. We're going to cut off this square and then I'm just going to notch in. So notch in on one side and notch in on the other side. All right, now the last thing that we're going to trim off are going to be these rectangles right here. So I'm just going to trim off these. We don't need these little flaps. All right. So I will lay this nice and flat so you can see how it is all trimmed. Let me move all that trash out of the way. So this is, put it this way, this is how we trimmed it all. Okay. We're going to do some corner rounding on our little tab here. So I am going to find my corner rounder and I'm just corner rounding this long one. That one is the one that's going to get tucked in. So that is the one that I'm corner rounding. Okay. So I use my detailed trio punch for that. Okay. And we're going to do one more punch on this. So on this side, so I have a half inch circle punch. This is retired, but I'm sure in your stash, you might have a half inch circle punch or something that would work. So on this side, this big top rectangle here, we are just gonna kind of eyeball the middle and I'm just gonna punch out half a circle. And that's just gonna be a little, a little thumb notch right here, okay? So that is our box, all trimmed up. That's what you want it to look like. And now we're going to, to glue it. I'm gonna use tear tape for this because I want you to see exactly where the tear tape is going. So as long as we have our box upside down, I'm going to put some tear tape on these center tabs. These are the, the glue tabs that are going to make our box. Okay. So this is going on the, on the back. Now I'm going to turn it on. This is the, turn it over. This is the, the inside of the box. 
And I'm going to put some glue on this side and on this side. So on the opposite side of the circle punch that we did. And you want them kind of on the little wings here. Okay. And now I'm going to put them on the outside of these also. So this is the farthest, the farthest side here. Okay. I hope you can, hope you can kind of tell that. Now you don't want to put any glue here on these sides because that's where these are going to tuck in. So if you have glue here, it's not going to, it's not going to allow it to tuck in. And if you have any glue up here, it's not going to allow our top flap to tuck in as well. So this is the inside of the box. You just want four pieces. You want here, 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 here. And then on the other side of the box, we just have it on the glue tab. Okay. So let's start adhering everything. So I am actually going to take off all of the tear tape on everything. So I'm using my take your pick tool. This, this is a great reason to buy a take your pick tool if you want to fold those up so they don't glue to my surface. But take your pick tool is great. If you use tear tape a lot, you definitely want to invest in a take your pick tool because it will be a lifesaver when pulling up tear tape. All right, and two more here. And last one. Okay, now the box goes together pretty easily. We're gonna take these glue tabs and we're gonna, the side that has these two rectangles, this is how they're gonna glue onto them. So this score line against this cut line. Okay, so just like that. Oh, hello stick to each other please so just like that so I have my adhesives kind of right next to each other right here you'll see the those two that's what you want and then this fold line to that cut line right there okay so the two adhesives are facing each other right here so you're just gonna fold this in and this really reinforces the box too when you have the the edge folded over it's going to give you a nice clean rounded look but it's also really going to reinforce everything and then these are just going to close kind of like a door you just want to close those make sure they're all pressed down like that and so now you have little pockets for your sides to fold up into and your lid just fold in just like that isn't that cute such a cute box it's so much fun and i told you it's it goes together a lot easier than you would think, but it looks so fancy. Anybody who gets this is going to be completely impressed. So fun, right? All right, let's add our belly. Well, let's add our treat. So I'm going to grab one of these. Now these were designed, this box was designed specifically for these little, these little heart ding-dongs, but I'm sure any number of treats would fit in here. So we're going to close up our box. It's going to be nice and secure and closed. It's, it's so cute. I love it. I'm going to um, work on making maybe even a larger version of this, smaller version. I just love the closure. So, okay. Our belly band is 10 by two and a half. And this is the true love DSP. This is in the, the mini catalog. It's part of that suite that um, I talked about at the beginning for my card crate. It's part of the always in your heart. Is that what it's called? I can't remember always in my heart so I'm just gonna wrap the belly band around and I'm just kind of pinching where it's going to be um, folded so I'm just going around and pinching and this is gonna get adhered on the bottom so once I get it all pinched then I'm going to bring in my bone folder and just make sure that those lines are nice and straight Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now we're just going to, I'm going to use my, I'm going to go to my Stampin' Zeal Plus for this now, and I'm just going to put adhesive on one of the sides. And we're going to wrap this around, and it should meet at the end. You don't want your belly band to be super snug, but you want it to be snug enough that it's not going to fall off, but you want to be able to pull it off. So, so super cute. Now you could open the box just like this, but I think it's so much cuter when, when the whole thing opens. Okay, and all just tucks right in. So, okay, so let's get to embellishing it all. So this is our little box. We're going to put that aside. We're going to work on doing all the stamping and punch work and stuff. 
Okay, so let's go over the rest of our pieces. So I've already punched a petal pink scalloped heart. That's gonna be for the back heart here. I'm gonna grab out those other heart punches. We need to punch the plain heart out of Magenta Madness. That's gonna layer in here. I love how these layer together. So cute, right? And then I'm also going to punch a scalloped heart. This will be for our second heart. Okay, so it's just a scrap of Magenta Madness. All right, and now for our stamping, I'm actually gonna punch before I stamp because this is a pretty small piece of, of white and I just wanna make sure that I can fit the heart. So I'm actually gonna stamp or punch it first. That's just our plain heart and that's gonna layer on top of our Magenta one. Then I have some pieces that we're going to be die cutting. So from those dies, like I said, we are using the dies from the Love You Always Bundle. These, this is the dies, the floral heart dies. They are beautiful and they are featured in my card crate this month. So I have lots of, lots of small little scraps we're gonna be die cutting. Now prior to, to the Facebook Live, I've covered the back of the Soft Sea Foam, the Just Jade and the Petal Pink with some of our adhesive sheets and that is going to turn these into essentially a sticker once they are die cut so i want this little flower so this is like a cluster of flowers and i want this little flower um i don't know what you want to call that it's it's that little flower that's the one i want so i'm going to make sure to die cut that one in petal pink that's going to be the detailed image this die that also comes in the set is going to be just the outline image. So we're gonna die cut that one as well. And then I'm gonna cut the leaves once each out of both of these colors. So let's do our die cutting. Let me pull in my little baby cut and emboss machine. Love this machine. So we're gonna use our plate number one and then I have plate number two. This is gonna be our cutting plate. So I'm gonna try to get a bunch of these on at once. We will have to cut the leaves twice because I only have one of those. But I think, actually, since we have to do two, we'll just do one of each. Okay. So I'm going to run this through. This little cut and emboss machine lives on my desk. If you are looking for something that is like a space saver, this is such a winner. And there's been really only a few times that I've had a die that has just been too big. Most of the time, though, most of the dies fit in here. All right, now I want you to see how beautifully that cut, and because we've backed that with the adhesive sheets, they're ready to go, just right in our right in our little spot there. <laughs> right? They didn't even come out, so it's just perfect. That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna cut that, and then we're gonna cut that. Now, also in the card crate, you're going to get a quarter pack of the adhesive sheets. You're gonna use them in the card crate, so you'll be able to use them um, and see what they're like in the class. So they are phenomenal. And all right. So again, that just cut right out. Now that's going to come out, but we'll get our taker pick tool and take it out. So we're going to leave, set that die aside. All right. And then our leaves just stayed in there beautifully. So we're going to set that aside and put my dies aside so I don't lose them. Now, while we have our our cut and emboss machine out. We do want to emboss the the magenta heart, the the one that's not scalloped, just the plain heart. And for that, I'm going to pull in my greenery embossing folder. And this fits perfectly in the little cut and emboss machine. So I have my plate one, and then I have plate three, which is for um, embossing folders, standard embossing folders. That's just going to go right through. These embossing folders are nice and skinny and they're made for the little mini machine. So you can see look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I just love it. This is one of my favorite embossing folders. All right, so all of our die cutting is done. Hold up my little mini machine, put that off to the side, and we are ready to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of this together. I'm gonna put this heart together because, you know what? I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Seal. Stampin' Seal Plus um, loves to tear that cardstock, especially when it's embossed. So I think it's just so super sticky. Okay, so right on that scalloped heart, isn't that cute? All right, now we're gonna do our stamping. 
so I have some magenta madness ink and I told you I'm using that heartfelt stamp set so we're going to use this love you lots greeting there are lots of greetings that will fit in this little heart though so you could use any number of greetings that's just going to go right here now because it's photopolymer it's okay that we pre-punch this if you were using a clean mount stamp and you wanted to make sure you got it nice and centered you might want to stamp it before you punch it but i like to live dangerously all right now this is going to go right on our scalloped into madness heart just like this and now we can hello put it on evenly now we can start layering up our box okay so Oh, you know, before we do that, let's let's poke out our little flower here. Let's get our flower put together. I want to show you how cool this is. So, like I said, this is gonna this is backed with our adhesive sheets, so it's gonna be a nice little sticker. So, you're just gonna peel that off. And the hardest part of using the adhesive sheets is peeling it off, but we'll see that it just it peels right off so perfectly. All the little inside pieces stayed with the backing. I'm going to pull out this piece and they are going to layer so beautifully together and it just sticks right down so you don't have to mess with liquid glue you don't have to mess with glue dots it just sticks right down perfectly all right and we have all the rest of our leaves ready to go move my trash out of the way so let's let's get to assembling so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick on this heart and i'm just going to use my stamp and seal for this stamp and seal plus you can use liquid glue whatever you want now it's going to stick up a little bit past the edge so you don't want to put any glue on the very top of the heart I'm going to stick that on just like that now before we go too far here's my example i do want to add my ribbon because this heart is going to go over the ribbon so you find that this is just the magenta madness ribbon lots of ribbon choices so you can choose so i'm going to tie this into a bow on the right side here hopefully you guys know how I feel about tying bows on camera so wish me luck I'm even doing it on the spool which may or may not be successful so we'll see okay all right I think it I think we might have success it's not so bad okay let me get my ribbon scissors I'm gonna cut this off <laughs> let's cut it off before things go horribly wrong all right, so we have our cute little bow that worked out pretty well. I'm just going to scoot it over just a little bit, move it a little bit off to the side here. Okay, now we're going to add our stamped heart. We're going to add that with dimensionals. I'm going to pull out some dimensionals, add them to the back of my heart, pull off those backings. And this heart is just going to kind of nestle in right next to that ribbon, overlapping that other heart just a little bit. Cute. Okay, now we have our little flower here. I'm going to add, I'm going to use a mini glue dot for this. I'm just going to add a little edge piece to mine. I don't want to cover it too much with the dimensional because we're going to be tucking some leaves underneath it. And I don't want that dim dimensional to get in the way. Okay, so we have our flower. Now let's work with our leaves. So you can use, these will just peel right off i just need to peel the backing off of these you can use your take your pick tool for this too but backing does come off pretty easily and then you just have a little sticker so i'm just going to tuck in this sleeve tuck one in right here we have another one it's going to tuck in right here and then any of these little pieces that you don't use i'll just pop those out and i'll put them in a little bowl that I keep lots of little scraps in. I keep these on my desk. You can see I have other flowers that I made yesterday. Um, so I just have them ready to go if I need to add them to um, any project. All right, I have a Just Jade one that is just going to get tucked in. And then one more of our leaves. We're just going to use a small little leaf. I'll save those other leaves. And come on. This one will just get tucked in right in here. So that is it. That is our sweet little box. Let me get all of this trash out of the way. That is our sweet little box. You can always add rhinestones or pearls or anything. So let's 
show again. Let me open this one up so you can see how it opens up. Isn't that cute? It is so cute, you guys. I can't tell you how much I, I love this box. So, and then the belly band would go right back on. So you'll have to let me know what you think of this box. Um, let me, um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I think that's it, you guys. Remember, if you need to place any online orders, go in and use that host code, and that will earn you celebration items if your order is $50 more. And if your order is over $50, you're going to get that free class for me in March. And all of the details on that are listed in the video, descri video description, too. Just head to that um, January update link. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Saturday in my VIP group. And um, for a celebration product feature we're going to feature a new celebration product in my um vip group we're going to talk about the darling donkey stamp set on saturday so watch check watch the replay if you've missed anything and um check back on saturday in my vip group and i'll see you guys later bye